Igor Liebman announces he will not be joining the new coalition. Busy Diane addresses threats posed by Hamas and Hezbollah. Breaking the silence accuses IDF of indiscriminate fire in Gaza. And hip hop singer Lauren Hill nicks his performance in Israel. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are the top stories for May 5th. Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman announced yesterday that he would not be joining Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new government and would quit his post immediately. Without Israel Beitenu, Netanyahu must now form a narrow coalition with a razor-thin majority of 61 MKs of 120. Last night, Shah signed a coalition deal with Likud ahead of the May 6th deadline for Netanyahu to form a government. Arya Deri, the head of the Shah's faction, is expected to serve as economics minister as well as minister of religious services. Former National Security Advisor Uzi Dayan told the Jerusalem Post yesterday that Hamas and Hezbollah are likely to have unfinished business with Israel and can be expected to attack the country again. We have to fight terrorism because we have to protect our people and strategically because we want to, to achieve better, uh, a better situation, better world in this uh, uh, region. And the way to defeat terror organization is one, to eliminate the leadership or to uh, 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 push them out of their territorial base, to threat their territorial base. Diane will be addressing the Jerusalem Post annual conference in New York on June 7th. Left-wing NGO Breaking the Silence accused the IDF yesterday of indiscriminate fire at Palestinians during last summer's war with Gaza a practice that said was contrary to the army's past policy of minimal force. To support its claims, the group compiled testimonies from 60 IDF soldiers who fought Hamas during Operation Protective Edge into a 237-page report titled, This is how we fought in Gaza. Breaking the silence called on the government to create an independent committee to investigate the IDF's rules of engagement during the operation. Uh, there was something called an artillery softening which basically meant that the artillery corps fired thousands of shells into uh, densely populated neighborhoods um, as, uh, as, as an attempt to, uh, to prepare those neighborhoods for the entrance of the soldiers. The idea was that once we dropped pamphlets, that's what the soldiers told us, once we dropped pamphlets warning the, civ the civilians there that they have to escape, then from that point on, they, they, there was no need to distinguish between civilians and uh, militants. And American hip-hop singer Lauren Hill announced yesterday that she has cancelled her upcoming performance in Israel. Hill said she had intended to perform in both Tel Aviv and Ramallah, but the setting up performance in the Palestinian territories at the same time as in Israel proved to be a challenge. The singer told her fans that she didn't want her presence to be misconstrued or to be a source of alienation to either her Israeli or Palestinian fans. And that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Israel. Until then, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studios.